Starting a business is one of the smartest way to be your own boss. One of the smartest way to pay yourself. As a rule of business, you have to pay yourself first. So, if you are planning to start your first business, or you are already in the business, but all your businesses are failing. So, in this business tips, I am going to guide you on how to start a successful business anywhere in the world. So, I have three successful businesses online. And so far, I have started numerous businesses with so many of them failed. So I can tell you why your business is going to fail or why you keep procrastinating starting a business. If I just send this for the first time, my name is Edith Sami, and here I discuss how to make money online and how to be financially independent, particularly if you're planning to start a business and you don't know where to start from or everything just seems not working for you and you really want to start a business. You don't want to start that business without watching this video from the 41st speech to the last statement I'm going to make in this video. So early this year, I plan on starting a business that cops millions of naira. I made my research and I got started. In the long run, this business failed and I went back home empty handed. So when starting a business, these are the things that you should look out for. First, you want to work on your talent. So when you start a business, do not just jump from one business to the other. We want to focus on what you think this will interest you so much. Not because someone is making money in a particular business, then you choose to dive into the same business. Fine, I have this philosophical idea that if you can be successful in one business and you have the catch or fund to fund any other businesses, it is possible that you are going to be successful, but not always like that in all businesses. Some businesses need basic knowledge, so you need to make sure it's a business you are interested in before you dive into putting your money in any kind of business you don't know much about it. So if you are starting a business, either your first business or you're in a business and you want to invest in any other business to make more money from your offline businesses, all you need to do is you want to make sure it is your area of interest. So make sure you follow passion in doing a business, not just investing in a business or because people are making money from this business. If you do this, you stand the chance to fail before the business starts even generating income. Secondly, you want to do your market feasibility or let me say market studies. Not because someone is selling a particular goods in your location or where you reside and you decide to move into this particular business. If you don't actually know the profit percentage of these businesses, it is not advisable to start such a business. Let's take for instance that you are starting an aluminum business, that is aluminum profile business and you plan to invest 10 million naira into this particular business. I can guarantee that you are not going to make any money from this particular business. Let me analyze this for you. If you are starting an aluminum business, you need at least a million naira to set up your aluminum shop. Starting from renting a job, the cleaning, setting it up before going to the company where you want to buy the aluminum profile that you want to be selling as part of your business, or you are selling aluminum accessories. Now with this aluminum product as an example, if you are not selling at all sales price, you will only be making my high grade profit. But for instance, but if you choose to go into it big, you can start making huge amount of profit from a start. And this is not going to be up to 5% of your investments. Let's take for instance that you are getting a ton of aluminum profile as a ton of cotton. This video is about 5,480,000 with 380 lengths. If you make a division of this, you'll be having something like 14,421. With 14,421, and you have a rebate of 11%. When you do the addition or subtraction of this on a ton of aluminum profile, let's say the curve, you will be having around 220,000 naira profit on a goods that worth about 6 million naira. And if you take the percentage of a goods worth 60 million naira and the profit is 220,000, that's about 4 3.6%. So any drop in the price will affect your business drastically. But if you are starting this particular business really big and you are able to invest or you are able to go for 10 tons, which is going to be around 54 million 800,000, then you'll be boastful that okay, with a good worth of 54 million 800,000 and you are having a profit of 4%, that's going to be about 4 million naira on a good of 50 million plus. But if you are starting as a reseller, all you're going to have on this particular product is going to be minute and you will not be able to control the price where the wholesales are doing the same. So if you are starting a business before you go into it, you want to make sure you do your background check and know actually how the business profit works. So another thing you want to consider if you don't want to fail in any of your businesses or any business that you are going to do 
is you need a good location. The heart of a business is where the business is situated. You don't want to start a business when the materials you are selling or the products you are selling are not in demand. So you want to put into consideration whether the goods that you are selling or the business you are about to venture into are in a demand where your location is. If not, you want to make a market feasibility of a perfect location for the type of business that you want to venture into. So this is the first heart of any business. Whether you have the fund or not, make sure that the business you are trying to venture into is in demand wherever you have. One thing that will actually make you feel as a business owner is not putting your business location as your number one priority. So if you are into hospitality business like having an hotel or a lounge where other hotels are situated and you choose to stand out like, okay, you want to stand out in this particular business, you will likely not be able to attract so many customers. But if you are in the visibility where hotels are in numbers, then there is a chance that you have customers the day you start running your business. So if you're planning to start a business in Nigeria, the first thing you want to put at heart is the location of the business. Now you want to locate this business where the business are in demand. If people are not demanding for your product, you will likely run out of service in no time. So another thing that will make your business fail before you even start of this is to hire your expectation. So before you start a business, you already know what you are going to make. Fine. But if you are not into the business before now, you are probably going to fail at the end of the day because your expectation about this particular business is high. That was what actually killed my morale when I was about to start my second business. So I was looking at a profit of 10 to 15 percent in this particular business at what millions. But in the long run, when I made my research and I found out that you can only have a maximum of 4 percent no matter your investment on this particular business so imagine investing 5 10 20 million in a particular business and all you could have as a profit at the end of the day is four percent which is nothing to talk about a good business should be able to give you at least 10 percent profit so if particular business you are moving to is not giving you a profit of 10 percent is a turn off for me so also if you want to run a successful business you must from the day you start in the business know what you're going to make at the end of the year. So let's say you want to invest 10 million Naira in a business in 365 calendar year. You want to know how much is going to be your profit at the end of the year. So let's say you invest 10 million Naira in a business. At the end of the year, you should be looking toward a profit margin of 10%, minimum of 10%. So if it is not up to 10%, then it's not a good business. A good business should be able to yield a 10% profit or even more. And one thing most business owner does that create their business is this, they don't pay themselves. So if you are starting a business and you want to be successful as a business owner, you need to learn to pay yourself first. Just like the way you pay your staff or workers, your name also has to be on the payroll. So get paid at the end of the month so that you know you get paid for what you're doing. Despite the fact that you are the owner of this particular business, you need to get paid. So getting paid yourself will allow you to sort out some bills without depending on what is actually coming from the business you are managing. So this is it. As a business owner, you need to get paid so that you'll be able to estimate how much income you have at the end of the year. So not just starting a business and whenever you want to pay a bill, personal bill, you go into the business account and you spend such money. It's not going to make your business grow. So one way to make your business grow as a business owner is to pay yourself first whenever you are paying your workers. Another thing about starting a successful business in Nigeria is this, always hire experienced staff. So if you're starting a business and you want to be successful, really successful, you need to hire those who have been in the business just like you, so that you don't need to groom people from the scratch, learning from your own experience. You need to hire people that are really going to help you to grow the business with the wealth of experience they've acquired. So if you're starting a hotel business, let's say in the hospitality industry, you need to hire a professional manager, you need to hire a professional cook, and you need to hire a professional secretary that knows the in and out of the hospitality industry that would definitely help you to grow your business in a matter of years. So if you're going to any business as a beginner, you need to hire a happy hand that understands the basic, the routine of the business you are venturing into. And one more thing I'm going to say, when you're starting a business in Nigeria and you want the business to be successful, 
is commitment the only thing that can make you successful as a business owner is to be committed so commitment is next to nothing when you want to start a business and be successful at it so starting a business is not as easy as it is before you can turn a particular business to a passive income you need to have invested the required time and the required resources and resources in this particular aspect is talking about a happy hand that knows the basic of this particular business not just a random individual who wants a nine to five jobs and you employ such person can actually ruin your business in no time so if you want to progress in your business and you're looking to have different branches in no time you need to help a professional in that particular industry not that the profit might worth it but for a start you need people to help you grow this business you need to invest in human resources the only thing that can make your business successful is investing in the right human resources in the industry you choose to start your business so when you are starting a business generally the mindset is to be successful in what you want to do the mindset is to grow your money the mindset is to probably turn the money you're making from this business into passive income but before this can happen you need to understand that every business is passed through phases so from phase one phase two phase three until you get to a stage whereby your business can no longer run out of business not particularly can no longer run out of business but because you've built resources people in the industry have the ideas on how to resuscitate the business if it is going out of business so if you're starting a business these are the steps i personally recommend for you that you should check out so why don't you just subscribe to this popular youtube channel so that we'll drop a quality video just like this on how to run a successful business and how to beat passive income online and offline you get our notifications